killer. I just want to point out really quick and say in the beginning of the video that I finally got my computer back so now stuff is gonna look a, a lot better in terms of just overall everything because now I have a high quality uh, or a higher quality computer than you know my the laptop I was using for like the past like two months I finally got what I needed to be in order to finally be able to use my computer again which I'm so fucking happy about, but that's not what we're here for. We're here to talk about Dragon Ball Super Episode 112, and I watched it. Initially, I didn't really think too much of it, but then I realized, like, kind of what was in the episode and what was so good about it, and now my, you know, opinions kind of changed a little bit, and uh, basically the episode is revolving around Kaba. And then, and then later towards like the uh, like the later half of the episode, uh, like Vegeta shows up and stuff like that. So it's kind of like it's kind of like another episode where we have another like Vegeta, uh, Kaba bonding episode and shit like that. So the episode begins off, uh, stuff happens. The guys are talking to each other, and then the Daishinkan decides to recap on the rules of what could possibly happen, which kind of points back to what I was thinking <coughs> excuse me a couple days ago and possibly a couple other people as well and that's if Jiren, Topo, and Dispo are so you know strong and powerful compared to everybody that's in the tournament why don't they just fucking you know go after everybody on the tournament stage and just eliminate them you would think because they're so powerful so fast and so you know just raw power just they just have raw strength and shit like that you know, especially Jiren, who is literally the strongest person on the stage, you'd think they would just, you know, go around and eliminate people, but it's like, no, they're not gonna do that. But the Daishinkan does remind us of one of the rules that was set up earlier on in the arc, and that's uh, with the universe with the most amount of people when the time runs out is the winning universe. So even though Universe 11 is you know, undoubtedly the strongest universe because of Jiren, who is compatible to most of the gods of destructions, if not all of them at this point, from what we've seen. You know, if, if let's say Universe 6, for whatever reason, has the most amount of surviving fighters on the stage, you know, it doesn't matter because, you know, Universe 11 could be the strongest, but whoever has the most is undoubtedly the winner. But the episode starts off immediately after that with, uh, I want to say this is Universe 5 or, th no, I think it's Universe 3. It, it's it's the universe with, uh, like, the robot god destruction. They decide to uh, order, you know, a couple of their fighters to go after Goku whilst he's still recovering. Uh, we get a scene of the Universe 6 Namekians fighting Piccolo and Gohan. And, you know, it was only really just like a like a slow scene, or not really a slow scene, but it, it was just like a short shot of the uh, those four fighting each other. And I would I would like to see more, because, you know, we, we haven't seen any other Namekians fight, you, you know, besides, you know, Piccolo, and that's it. Um, we see a little bit of Kale and Khalifa, which is always nice to see. But then immediately after someone tries to go after them, we get Kaba, and then that's when the episode starts to shift off over to it being a Kaba episode. At first, I thought we were going to have Khalifa fighting, because she said she was going to fight uh, this uh, fighter from Universe 4. Uh, I think her... Just muted my mic, I apologize. <laughs> I think her name is Mona. I want to believe that's what her name is. I believe her name is Mona. I'm not entirely sure. That's why I'm just going to fucking call her. Uh, but anyways, uh, Kaba's just like, yeah, I'm gonna fucking deal with fat bitch who kind of reminds me of Rebran. Yeah. Uh, and then he's just telling Kale and Khalifa to, you know, get out of there, yada, 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 get, recover your stamina and shit. Uh, Kaba starts fighting Mona and stuff like that, and he's putting up a decent fight. He went into Super Saiyan transformation. Uh... Fucking Mona Ribrian copycat decides to expand like her lower half of her body and kind of turn it into like a giant ball. 
start stomping on Kava. Kava can't do anything about it. He's pretty much at the edge of the fucking arena. Is about to get knocked off. And then for, you know, because Vegeta was, is supposed to be in the episode because he's in the title of the episode, Vegeta decides to fucking save him. And then it's like, you, you think for a second that he's like, oh, no, he's just trying to be like a good guy and stuff like that. No, he kind of just chucks the motherfucker back on the arena. And, you know, it's kind of like, I, I can't stand a weak saying, you know, I can't stand someone who's a part of my race to be so weak. He's telling them shit, whatever. And they actually bring back something that was mentioned uh, earlier on in this in a series uh, towards the, the original tournament, uh, tournament arc uh, in, in Dragon Ball Super. Uh, they kind of bring up the fact that Vegeta does want to go visit Universe 6 to go to Planet Zadal. And I don't remember that scene all too well, mainly just because it's been a while since I've actually seen that arc. But that almost makes me want to go, you know, that almost makes me want to go back and rewatch it just because. But I don't really have the time to want to go back and watch it anyways. So, but they, they do mention it, they do bring it back, stuff like that. Kappa starts fighting Mona again, you know. Uh, Mona's talking about, like, ah, oh, after I defeat you, I'm going to go after those other two fucking girls saying girls and then I'm gonna go after Vegeta yada 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 bullshit bullshit right uh T Kaba just starts uh starts getting you know surrounded by like electricity stuff like that so if you know Dragon Ball you know that means he's about to transform into Super Saiyan 2 and that's what he does he transforms into Super Saiyan 2 at that point he's got enough power to eliminate this fucking bitch with a really powerful key attack so that's what happens uh, later on, yada yada yada, stuff happens. Uh, Goku and Vegeta start, you know, talking to each other. Vegeta is wanting to go fight J Jiren. Topo shows up. He's like, uh, "No, you, you're not gonna do that." And then Vegeta's like, "Oh, well, I don't want to fight second best, right?" And then Topo, <laughs> this is like my favorite line of all the episode and so far also out of all the past couple weeks even episode 109 and 110 he basically calls Vegeta second best Vegeta's like I don't want to fight second best and then Topo's like well aren't you second best as well and you know that causes him to you know go straight to blue because he knows Topo's no joke Topo you know maybe second best compared to Jiren but you know he knows that he's not you know, that weak and that he shouldn't underestimate him. So he goes straight to blue. Uh, he fights Topo. Goku's trying to, you know, defend off himself uh, in the meantime. But before we get to that actual scene, we get a scene where Frieza, because Frieza was overhearing uh, stuff between Vegeta and Kaba. Frieza starts fighting Kaba. Kaba obviously can't stand a chance against Frieza. Uh, he goes back into Super Saiyan 2. They have a shot where Frieza holds uh, Kaba towards like a like a giant boulder against like his mouth and shit like that. That causes him to go Super Saiyan 2 stuff like that. Not, not really, but you know that's basically what causes it. Uh, he shoots off an attack. It doesn't work. You know Frieza then starts sh shooting a barrage of uh, key key uh, attacks at Kaba and then inevitably eliminates him. Which I can't say surprised me because it really didn't, considering you know Frieza is a racist against Saiyans and that he doesn't like him. So he eliminates Kaba, which kind of surprised me. I'm, I'm gonna be honest; it kind of surprised me, but kind of didn't at the same time. But I almost kind of wish that he didn't get eliminated because it, it's it's almost a sense of like I wish that hit. <coughs> Excuse me. It's almost the sense that I wish that Hit didn't get eliminated last week because, you know, it was just kind of bullshit, but not really at the same time. It's kind of it's kind of like similar to this situation with Kappa and Frieza. Uh, fast forward to that, um, you know, Vegeta meets up with Goku again. Vegeta points out the fact that Goku is struggling, and he and he is, but then but he's only still recovering. He doesn't he hasn't recovered all of his like stamina and shit. Uh, Goku's about to get attacked. Vegeta goes back after Topo, starts fighting him again. Uh, Khalifa actually shows up, uh, actually, and kind of, I, I guess, quote, save him from the three fighters from Universe 4. And then she powers up into what looks like Super Saiyan 2 for her. 
and you know she's pretty much like son goku fight me and i'm like oh well do we get to see a little bit of fighting no 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 we don't because i i already knew what i was going to use for my thumbnail and it wasn't in this episode i have to wait until next week in order to use it and now i'm pissed you, you probably know if you've seen screenshots on like twitter and stuff like that but maybe not at the same time if you're not on the side of twitter that i'm on but that's besides the point I need to go find a thumbnail so I can, you know, you know, create a thumbnail for the video, obviously. Uh, overall, the episode was actually a lot better than I initially, initially anticipated it to be. I first thought it wasn't really, you know, that great because stuff was stuff was in the episode that I didn't like. But overall, it was actually really good. It was a lot of uh, uh, character bonding between the two uh, the two characters of Kaba from Universe 6 and Vegeta from Universe 7. It was actually a lot better than I initially anticipated it to be. <clears throat> it was pretty good. Uh, definitely don't miss out on it because it is good. Uh, don't, you know, don't trust my words because inevitably I, I am wrong about a lot of things. So anyways, uh, that's the end of the video. Art, also, art style and animation for this episode is actually pretty good. It was uh, above above average. It was actually really, really good. If you you know notice a lot of key differences, not key differences, but a lot of just key moments that you know you may or may not notice. But overall, yeah, the animation was pretty good for this episode. Uh, episode, like I said, was you know really good. You know, like I said, just don't. Don't listen to me. If I say something's bad, it probably isn't. You know, you just have to, you know, trust the fact that I'm just fucking retarded and don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but anyways, that's the end of the episode. That's the end of the review. Uh, I hope you guys didn't enjoy for whatever the hell this video is. Uh, in the next coming days, you will see uh, a Boruto episode review. And Thursday is the release for Assassin's Creed Origins. So... Uh, be on the lookout for my Twitch because I do want to go stream on my Twitch. I want to stream the game, have a lot of fun. Uh, go check out my, my Twitch stream and stuff like that on Thursday. Hopefully Thursday, if not maybe uh, that later on day. Later, later on on Thursday or maybe Friday. It, it may depend. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like. If you're new, be sure to subscribe for future content that you know, isn't great, but do it anyways. <laughs> anyways, have, have a fantastic day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.